Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply series range of books. Today I'm going to be taking you through the Gypsy Spirit from my Simply Gypsy book and I hope you like it. If you want to know where I got the book from there'll be a link above my head or there'll be a direct link underneath this video in the description box. So if you want to know how to play the Gypsy Spirit from Simply Gypsy then please keep watching. So as usual I'm going to play it through for you then I'll take you through parts of the music. This is probably one of my favourite ones in the book. All the other ones so far have actually been quite sort of fast and you know um, it, it, quite lively pieces. This is the first one that's actually slow and the first one that you can probably take at any sort of pace you want to. The one thing I'd say is don't keep to a strict time. Normally you know we say put a metronome on and everything but on this one do not keep to a strict time. The whole point of this is you know it's the gypsy spirit so you can almost just sort of you can play around with it and do whatever you want. Um, if I did a little bit more than what I did just in the demo purpose just there then So you can really play around with the uh, with the power of this and, and turn this into something sort of, you know, something unique pretty much every time you play it. In terms of notes, you've got some G sharps on the G string. Now they are just a back one. So where you'd normally put your one to start with for that A, which is the very first note that you've got there, which goes on the normal dot, your G sharp is gonna be back all the way as far until you, as far as the ridge, or until you can feel the little ridge of the nut there. So that's where your G sharp is gonna be. When you get to the, the end of the uh, second going into the third bar, you've got a G sharp followed by an A. So just use the same finger and just slide it up. So it sounds a little bit like this. And in fact, the slidey the better is something like this. If you really wanted to go to town, you know, you could put this all in different positions on, on the violin and, and move up into third position, second position, fourth position even. Um, but obviously that kind of defeats the simplicity of this piece. But if I was playing this perhaps as a performance and I was sort of playing around with it, then I might go into third position just because I can, I'd, I'd probably like to go into maybe fourth or even fifth position because I can get a really nice, a really nice kind of gypsy type tone that you sort of get up here. But again, that does defeat the simplicity of this piece. However, I played it exactly as it's written on here with some open strings and maybe some fourth fingers instead. And it doesn't, it still sounds just as nice. So if that's what I can make that sound like then you, on in first position, then you guys can definitely do that as well. Just watch the G sharps towards the end. Uh, you've got a G sharp on the E string, which is a stretched second finger, which would just be right behind the third finger. And then the G sharp, the two G sharps at the very end, which are third finger on the D string. Your third finger normally goes on the dot and then you're just going slightly above. So make sure you stretch those third fingers enough. Otherwise it's not gonna sound as nice. 
So there we go, that's the Gypsy Spirit, possibly one of my favourite ones in the book, um, probably until I get to play the other ones and they'll be my favourite ones, but overall I really, really love this book. So thanks for watching, don't forget to check in the description bar underneath, there'll be links to all the other book series, Simply Country, Simply Romantic, Simply Jigs and Reels, all that kind of thing, they're all under there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.